Hello and welcome back to another SQL tutorial. This is video number 16 of the series. We were discussing foreign key and we'll learn how to create a foreign key in this video. So we'll go to all programs and Oracle Database 10G Express Edition. If you don't have this, go to Oracle website and download this uh, free of cost. Database homepage, uh, I'll decrease the size of the window so you can have a look easily password and login SQL SQL command enter commands so we'll look at the catalog to see how many objects we have we've got four objects now we want to build our database uh, on this table EMP and this is a sequence that we created earlier to insert value into this table. These tables are not needed anymore, so we'll drop them just to keep our database clean. That's how you drop a table, and the other table was ONE phone. Okay, so now we have only two objects, and we'll look at the data from EMP table so it has only one row at the moment we want to keep a record of the department of employees as well so we want to know what department this employee belongs to so we want to create a another add another column to it by the name of department department number maybe but before we do that, we will create a table, create table department, and the PGNO is the first column, and the data type is number, and the second column is DPD name. Now, because we want to use this department number column as a foreign key for this, uh, for this table here, employee, it has to be primary key so department number in this table will be the primary key department name will be data type will be varchar2 and we want this not null okay, so we forgot to put a comma here and run table created at the moment it should have three objects now this is the table that we just created there's no data in department table no data found what we'll do we'll add another column to our employee table alter table EMP add department number and we'll say references now this is the simplest way to to add a foreign key to an existing table okay references department what it means now we are altering a table we are altering the table employee EMP and we are adding another column by the name of department number now this column this newly added column will reference this table department that we created here this table will become a referencing table and this table will be known as a referenced table if you don't use the column name from reference table the primary key of a reference table will become foreign key for this table here I'll show you what I mean in a minute table alter so if you have a look at the description of the or data 
of the table EMP there is another column department number which is a referenced uh, which will be referencing department so at the moment if I try to insert data into this table because department table does not have any data in it in raw will not be inserted okay I'll show you how so insert into EMP values we want to use EMP sequence to insert a new value into this table so EMP next value last name may be uh, Bachchan and first name Ashwarya and higher date to insert a date data type you have to write to date another bracket 99 maybe comma the separator and then you have to describe the format so the format is DD MM and year year so I'll say here I'll change this so 1st of November 1999 and single quotation close bracket close bracket close so these two brackets this one and this one they're being closed here now the third data type is a uh, number salary so we can say comma maybe 7000 is the salary and commission is null okay and I'll say department number 10 now remember department table department does not have any data in it at the moment so this statement should fail because this column is referencing primary key of the department table and it will look for department number 10 okay so we'll confirm that we'll see if everything is right date salary null and well insert into EMP values EMP sequence this one bracket missing here and we'll run this now integrity constraint Kiara dot sys uh, blah 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 violated parent key not found so what it means that this department number is not found in department table so what we'll do we'll insert into department table first values and the department number is 10 and the value is uh, for the department name is sales okay one row inserted so if I run this statement again it should not be successful one row inserted so we'll have a look at the data in employee table now so there are two rows now and the department numbers if I change this again and I type in 20 or 30 it won't accept uh, again so that's how foreign key works I'll insert another row in department table I'll say account accounts and run this and select asterisk from from department run so two departments and we have got two rows in employees table now I'll pause the video and I'll insert a few more rows here and then we'll go on thank you very much